With these Sleep Outfitters brand promises, you can rest assured you made the right purchase. Find the mattress set you purchased from us at an advertised lower price, and I'll refund you 120% of the difference. That's our price promise. Not comfortable on your new mattress set within 120 nights? We'll exchange it for one that's just right for you. See our website for complete details. Plus, ask about low-rate financing options and free delivery at Sleep Outfitters. The best price on the best brands, guaranteed. Hello and welcome back to the Tennessean's Bernard Pollard Show brought to you by Sleep Outfitters. We are back now for our trivia round and I see you guys have all got some special hats on up there. Ooh. You're looking, looking pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Black so Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to go with our Christmas themed yep. trivia show. Um, we have Ronnie Stewart from Nashville on Team Pollard today. Hey Ronnie, Ooh. how are you? <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. And we have Steve Darling from Brentwood, who is joining Jim Wyatt today as hey, a stand-in trivia yes. contestant. Thank you. Here we go. All right. So you got a little bit of new competition here, Bernard. What do you think? What, what do you think Jim's going to do over here? Uh, I can do this. He, he, he looks like a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm, just gonna, I'm being honest, you know, it, this should be a shellacking. <laughs> I'm used to these hats with a visor. I'm used to having a little air up here. I'm not used to this Santa hat on. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, to remind everybody who is watching uh, in the audience and on Tennessean.com how this works, we have four quarters. We have either a three-point or a seven-point question for each team, and we'll see who comes out on top. So are you guys ready, Mr. Mr. Bernard Pollard always starts our trivia contest. So oh, you yeah. guys, do you want to start with the three-point or the seven-point question? Go to the top. Go for the seven. Go for seven. Okay. Starting us off. In the holiday song, The Twelve Days of Christmas, what did my true love bring to me on the tenth day? Oh. <laughs> people, I don't even know the song. People in the audience are saying, <laughs> I have no idea. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Don't you love my singing uh, voice? Isn't it amazing? Ring? That that what? Or yeah. So go go to ten. You have any idea? Anyone? No. Uh, you thought this was gonna be a football uh, question. I'm totally throwing you off here, aren't I? Yeah. I. I no. You don't even have a guess. Was, no. uh, was it a diamond ring? No. Or it no. was a car. Car. A car. Yeah. Obviously a car. No. Does anybody in the audience want to shout out what it is? What is it? Anyone? Anyone? Ten Lords of Leaping? Does nobody know? Ten Lords of Leaping. Ten Lords of Leaping. Lords of Leaping. Lords of Leaping. Ten Lords of Leaping. Like a lord. Like a lord who leaps. Right. Yeah. Obviously, Bernard. No, no. That's not my fault. That's your fault for asking that question. All right. Let's try another one. Gentlemen, would you like a three-point or a seven-point question? Seven. Seven. Yes. Seven-point question. Okay. <laughs> See if you can get this one. In the holiday song, The Twelve Days of Christmas, what did my true love bring to me on the eighth day? I know you got you five guys, seconds. I know you guys know this. Sing it to yourself. You got it. You can sing it out loud if you really want to. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting it. You're getting closer. I'll I can go tell. with that. Yep. Eight drummers drumming. No. Yes. Eight maids a milking. Maids a milking. Yeah. <laughs> Eight who? Maids milking. They're a milking. Okay. Because that's the way the songs are. Written. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. You got it. Okay. All right. I hope there is not a whole bunch of twelve days of Christmas songs. There is going to be a really long <laughs> trivia game. Okay. We're going to go to the second quarter now. Zero zero. Zero zero. Okay. Oh, good. I do not see the 12 days of Christmas written on this card anywhere, so we're good. Okay, you guys want a three-point or a seven-point question? Seven. Seven. Okay. What was the name of the magician in the holiday cartoon, Frosty the Snowman? This is the hardest question I've ever heard of. <laughs> I am not responsible for these questions. What's that? I only know about Charlie Brown. No. Oh, was that Charlie Brown? Frosty the Snowman. Oh, it's Fro oh. Right. There, I snowman. don't even know. I didn't Frosty even know there was a magician. Do you know? Is it in the song? I don't think so. Oh. No. Uh, what, like, what does the name start with? Uh, he's, he's a professor of sorts. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just. I, I'm. I'm just gonna give it to you guys because I can't imagine that you would know it. Professor. Igloo? Professor Hinkle. Hinkle, oh. Did you know that? Wait, did you know the audience know that? Yeah, somebody was trying to cheat, but then, like, my dumb butt. <laughs> she gave me the answer, and I still mess it up. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, my gosh. All right. You guys want the three-point question? Let's go seven. Let's go seven. Yeah, we can go do seven. Three points? 
Seven. 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 Oh, come on. I'm trying to nudge you the right way. Okay, what was the name of the rabbit in the holiday cartoon, Frosty the Snowman? I have to wonder whether our sports columnist knew all the answers to these questions when he puts it down. Pocus, pocus. Oh, my gosh, you know. <laughs> no I way. I am super impressed. No way. That's super right. impressed. How do you know that? Uh, I've watched Frosty the Snowman. I am, I am very impressed. All right, so you guys jump out to a 7 <laughs> nothing nice lead. That's I'm bull crap. I'm sorry, Bernard. I'm sorry, man. Oh. I didn't know the answer to that. Jim didn't even know it. That was going to be my guess. Yeah, I was going to let him have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, 3.7 point question. Oh, we're going to go, we're going to go, uh, it depends on how hard the questions are. Um, let's see. Which, you just tell me which one's um, harder. Um, you, you could potentially get both of these. The three point is a little bit easier, but we're on to another movie. Let's go seven. Another holiday movie. Okay. Go bigger, go home. Yeah, I didn't do good okay. in the first half, so yeah. the second half's on you. All right. What was the name of the Grinch's dog in The Grinch Who Stole Christmas? I have never seen that. That's not my fault. <laughs> you have kids at home? Uh, you don't, you don't watch The Grinch or Frosty or? Well, I've seen the one, uh, is, yeah, can I call, call a friend? You, you want to phone a friend? Can I call a friend? Sure, phone a friend, uh, Bernard. Let's let's do this. <laughs> Maxie, or Max Seal Sax. What? Max? Who? What? What's your final answer? Whichever one was right. <laughs> <laughs> Max, right? Max is correct. Let's go. Helpful from the audience there. Yeah, we, we, we take that seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good, very good. Okay, all right. So it's tied seven seven. There might have been a little bit of cheating going on, but you know, it's, it's the holidays. Cheating, we're gonna give it to him. Okay, guys, three point or seven point question. Seven. Just go seven. Seven. Uh, oh, see now this is an easy seven point question in my mind. Oh my who gosh. wrote The Grinch Who Stole Christmas? Dr. Seuss. Yes. What? Sorry, Bernard. I'm sorry. Yeah. What the freak is questions. this? Totally you didn't even know it. I knew that one. Yeah, no, I'll, read, I'll read those Dr. Seuss okay. books. Okay. Yeah. So who wrote it? Dr. Seuss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Jim. Very good. Very good. Thought I'd catch him off guard. All right. What's, this, what's the score? Now, I'm, I'm so distracted. It's 14, 14 to 7. Team Wyatt is in the lead. We're heading into the third quarter. Yeah. All tight. right. Seven point question. Oh, yeah. yeah, we go seven. Okay. In the TV classic, Rudolph and the Red-Nosed Reindeer, what was the name of Rudolph's girlfriend? He had a girl, it's oh, a kid's movie. It is a kid's movie. Yeah. You got kids at home? It's Christmas. Yeah, Rudolph, What do you think? Nose. Does it say, it's does not, it, it's is her not name in, in the, the song? It's not oh, in the song. No, no, you guys, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, what, she's, what, she's shouting uh, it out right here. Uh, There's people shouting it out from all corners. You gotta pay attention. No, no. He can't. He's, he's got the name written on the school board. <laughs> That's a little cheating. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna call that one. I'm guessing you don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. C Clarice, 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 Clarice is the correct answer. Right. So we it get seven. In, no, it didn't come in before the buzzer. I can't. I can't. I let Jess, you go to bed for the you last time. You're gonna do this to me. <laughs> We'll see how the fourth quarter plays out. Just wait a second, all right? That, that was a fourth. I'm oh, gonna burn right. your tree down. We're already in the fourth quarter. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm it's not going paying down. attention at all. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. All right, well you guys, you're winning. You're ahead. What do you think? Run up the score. You probably or just go with the three. Okay, let's uh, run it up. Uh, somebody, seven. at least somebody seven. run up. Let's run it up, kind of like Vandy did against Purdue on uh, Saturday. Have that you ever been coming. slapped on Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by my, by my wife. Uh, that, uh, that's the only time. When those presents come rolling in. <laughs> a lack of them, I should say. Huh? All right, focus. Here we go. Seven point question. In the classic TV classic Rudolph and the Red Nosed Reindeer, what was the name of the elf who wanted to be a dentist? Okay, Hermie. Hermie, you are a man full of children's no trivia. Right here. Do you write these yeah, questions? Impressive. Jim, you got a ringer for a teammate there this, this time. <laughs> what, what was his name? It's Hermie. Yeah. <laughs> well, with that, Team Wyatt, in their first appearance on the show, comes yeah. out with the victory, 21 to seven. It's bull crap. I'm sorry, Bernard. <laughs> you had me put this hat on and I couldn't think. <laughs> That's it, it's totally that. I, I, it didn't I'm work. giving that to you, yep. <laughs> All right, well you, sir, will go home with a wonderful piece of paraphernalia, so congratulations. And happy holidays to everybody up there. Oh yeah. And uh, that thank is you. it from Moe's Barbecue here in Cool Springs. And thank you very much for tuning into the Bernard Pollard Show brought to you by Sleep Outfitters. We'll see you next week.